ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Saturday, April 2nd. We're preparing for the fifth Sunday in Lent. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. Let's pray. Creator God, you prepare a new way in the wilderness, and your grace waters our desert. Open our hearts to be transformed by the new thing you are doing, that our lives may proclaim the extravagance of your love given to all through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Our reading today is from the book of Exodus, chapter 12. Then Moses summoned all the elders of Israel and told them, Go and select for yourselves a lamb or young goat for your families, and kill the Passover animals. Take a branch of hyssop, dip it in the blood that is in the basin, and apply to the top of the doorframe and the two side posts some of the blood that is in the basin. Not one of you is to go out the door of his house until morning, for the Lord will pass through to strike Egypt, and when he sees the blood on the top of the doorframe and on the two side posts, then the Lord will pass over the door, and he will not permit the destroyer to enter your houses to strike you. You must observe this event as an ordinance for you and for your children forever. When you enter the land that the Lord will give you, just as he said, you must observe this ceremony. When your children ask you, what does this ceremony mean to you? Then you will say, it is the sacrifice of the Lord's Passover, whom he, when he passed over the houses of the Israelites in Egypt, when he struck Egypt and delivered our households. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Now that we've dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. If you're comfortable doing so, I hope you'll pray out loud with me. It's good to lift our voices together to the Lord. Even though we're separated in time and in space, we're united by technology and in the power of the Spirit. So let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven, he is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Give us the joy of your saving help again, and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace from above, and for our salvation, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the Church of God, and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this holy moment, and for all who offer in it their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the health of the creation, for abundant harvests that all may share, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For public servants, the government, and those who protect us. For those who work to bring peace, justice, healing, and protection in this and every place, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel, for those who are sick and suffering, and for those who are in captivity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For deliverance in the time of affliction, wrath, danger, and need, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all servants of the church, for the Good Shepherd and all those touched by its ministries, and for all people who await from the Lord great and abundant mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. Giving thanks for all who have gone before us and are at rest, rejoicing in the communion of all the saints, we commend ourselves, one another, and our whole life to you, through Christ our Lord. O God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by paths as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go, but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us today. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org. And please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.